couple of days ago I was walking around here with Alessia doing some shopping and whatnot and I saw this go-kart karting place so I decided to invite the whole Vagabond fam so we got oh, making yeah. stories here in the house Vagabond Alessia's back and Felix holding the cam and so we're gonna check out this place and see if it's hella fun as it looks Yes. Yeah, this is a sad part where we don't have enough cash for an <laughs> extremely, yeah, extremely got, cheap I've karting got, place. <laughs> Time to wear that oh so beautiful GoPro oh bra. We decided to switch because Alessia is not very sure that she will be able to drive us successfully without dying in a bloody explosion. So uh, I decided to take over the wheel and let's do some uh, vagabond karting. Scoot scoot! So yeah, I guess the guy kind of got annoyed by us trying to film so much during his business hours. So they kind of kicked us out, which we Vagabonds are used to. That's not a problem. We got our footage, we got our fun. So let's see what else is on our journey. Oh, hello guys. This is not some weird after party, although it might look like that with the Red Bull and just the outfit and the sun coming up. We're actually uh, making a shot for the 50K subscribers that we have for you guys that we have here on our channel and maybe as a photographer or videographer you already know what you can do in camera is better than uh, have to do it in post-production we could just put the 50k in whatever some uh, after effects uh, style edits but we don't want to do that to our boy Felix here so yeah that's why we're uh, doing it manually manual labor how is it getting along JC we're getting somewhere, slowly but steadily. Oh, my knee. <laughs> oh, hello, Felix. Welcome to my bedroom. All right, that was a very creepy introduction for the next thing that I have planned. Am I looking all right, Felix? Looking good, yeah. All right, great. So we have Alessia here in my bed. She's waiting to model for a very important photo that I want to take. You can look at me now, Felix. This is uh, a shot I took in the first uh, year that I was doing photography, I guess. And for some reason, it's one that I really like. I don't know why, but just the vibe of like the heart flash, the girl in a white bed covered in Fruit Loops. It's just a very like, I don't know, vibey, random after party Berlin vibe or something. Uh, so I would like to replicate that photo with Alessia. Uh, so I bought Fruit Loops. I have a beautiful, well, it looks like a gray bed now, but it's white under the gray. Let's check if it's clean. <laughs> Let's check if it's clean, yes. Old uh, man, he sometimes been bad. Okay, so obviously the pee spots are gonna be on your side. Yeah. If there is any pee spots. Wait. So, item number one, a white bed. You don't need to. Item number two, a model in the bed. <laughs> and item number three, huge box of Fruit Loops. I know I'm hard to love. Yeah, so this is gonna be a serious um, trial of mental strength for Alessia because she's fasting today and I'm gonna cover her in sweet, delicious food. Sorry. Now I'm gonna tell you a little secret. Uh, I don't always successfully cover models, like sensor models, when yes. I do these food shoots. But for example, with Fruit Loops, it's very easy in Photoshop to kind of cut out one Fruit Loop and copy paste it on the nipple. Yes. And for the rest, we want a random vibe, so we're just gonna randomly spray this all over us. I know I'm hard to please. I'm never happy it seems. You put my heart at ease when it's All right, 
right, so I just took a few test shots and it's already looking pretty good. I really like the more colorful Fruit Loops compared to previously. And I remember when I took this photo, there was still a lot of uh, ambient light from outside coming in. So now I decided to shoot it at night so we have even more of that um, hard flash effect, which I really like. So uh, yeah, this is gonna turn out pretty good. I'm just gonna have her do a few different poses and then I think I've got my shot. Baby, if it were So I was able to take that photo, that photo that I had in mind, exactly the same as before, but so much nicer because it's with Alessia now. And I'm now gonna do a couple of variations on this photo. I'm gonna add my feet into it, like POV style, and maybe something else if I think of something. So let's do that now. So at some point Felix kind of entered into my view um, which created a censorship of Alessia's face. So it has this kind of sexy behind the scenes vibe with an added touch of anonymity. I, don't know, I really like this shot. I've never used another photographer as a censorship element in a photo. Nice job Felix, you were a perfect element in my photo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh guys, you caught me a bit off guard here. As you can see, we're very busy preparing the next Vegamon vacations. We also put all the vlogs online, so that's a lot of hard editing work. I see that my boy JC here is cooking up something in Premiere. Yes, so this week we've been working a lot on our laptops to prepare for the next one. And I have a little special treat for you guys. It's the promo video for the Kiev Vegamon vacation end of August. So I want to show that to you right now. 